Hey guys, it's Peter, and in this video, I'm joining up with the California Gay Adventure Group to hike up Echo Mountain to Inspiration Point. Normally, Los Angeles is nothing but sunshine, but on the day of our hike, we were lucky enough to go up into the clouds. In this video, you'll get to know some of the members of this awesome group. They will share their weight loss journeys, advice on how to have a lasting relationship, their favorite books, and of course, their favorite hikes. So stay tuned. inspiration point we met at the trailhead at 8 30 a.m and after a quick group chat we headed up the mountain this is a 10 mile moderately difficult hike with an elevation gain of 2740 feet that takes you up echo mountain to the famous inspiration point along the way you will come across the ruins of the echo mountain house it was a hotel built in 1894 with 80 rooms a dance hall casino and a zoo after a few fires and natural disasters, the hotel was left as ruins in the late 1950s, but you can still see the ruins today. It's an old uh, electric train that they used to have up here in Mount Lowe um, when they had the resort. It actually was electric and there was a power station over here. They would actually bring fuel up to, to, to power all the way up here. And it had a major grade that it came up. It was pretty amazing. During the hike, I got the chance to meet a few of these guys and their stories are pretty cool. So here's your chance to meet a few of them. This is Jeff. Jeff just got back from New Zealand. Which and was amazing. What's your favorite hike in Southern California? There are many. Uh, I love the punch bowls in Santa Paula, which I just did. I get a second person who said that. I love Strawberry Peak. I love local that. And co close. Yeah. Um, there's many in the San Gabriel. I saw yeah. Canyon going to Paul Beach. So. Yeah. Okay, so we made it to the top of Echo Mountain, but as yeah. you can see, you can't see five feet in front of you. Matthew is an avid hiker. I am, yeah, okay. I would say that. Okay, and where do you avid. live? So I live in Santa Ana, Orange County, but I'm from New York. We're both from New York. New York. We're both from York. That's right, coffee. Like from New York. <laughs> My bagel and cream cheese. All right, I like the sound of that. New York is not known for hiking. It's known for subways. Subways um, and the rats, pizza rats. Okay, so you want to say your favorite hike in LA. Maybe. This is probably my favorite one in LA, so well, I guess it's Pasadena, but my yeah. favorite hike, hike is actually the Pacific Ridge, which is in Newport, and you go all the way from Newport all the way to Laguna Beach, and there's, if it, if you get a good rain, there's a waterfall, and you, it's like nine miles of just interchange loops, and it connects all the way to Top of the World, which is in Laguna. So this is Zachary, and uh, Zachary had a husband. A husband? A husband. Yeah, we were married for 25 years. 25 years. He passed away three and a half years ago. And you said you still stay in touch with his mom. Oh, every day. Every oh. single day we FaceTime. So, so what's the, what's the tip for a lasting 25 year relationship if you're gay? Um, understand each other. Don't argue. And if you argue, go back and fix it. Okay. When you first met him, um, was we, it love at first sight? We, well, maybe not at first sight, but when we got to know each other. We met an, an art exhibit. And Tom, artist? Tommy Finlan. Wow. Art exhibit in Silver Lake. So there was no grinder back then. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so met in an art exhibit and we then. We just started talking. Just started talking. Yeah, and we, had, and then we had mutual friends also. His first lover that he'd broken up with, and then I had met right when they had broken up. Okay. So it was a small world. Oh, wow. So but it was just. We did everything together. I mean, yeah. we, were always, we were always together. Yeah, so would you say it's important that... Um, communicate. You communicate. And would you yeah. say that like your lover's your best friend? Oh yeah. Be close to, like we were close to each other's families. Yeah. So like, I mean, like I talk to my mother like every single day. Yeah. So. And it's such a nice story. This is Jim. Pretty regular hiker with CGA. My favorite hike in Los Angeles. Um, that's a tough one. Um, I really like uh, Point Magoo, which is oh. something we don't do very often, right? But it's out in Malibu. Yeah. Um, really love that Sandstone Peak. Oh. Which was a great <laughs> one, right? Right, right? I love both of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, great. This is Chris. 
fix my hairs. <laughs> Chris is, uh, how tall are you, Chris? Six, seven. Oh my God. He's the founder of California Gay Adventures. When did you found this group? Uh, 2017. And how often do you guys hold events? Tell them like what they Like pretty much every week. We, uh, we have a different hike. We have uh, camping trips every month. We have, in the next 10 months, we have 10 different, 11 different camping trips planned. We've gone to Costa Rica. We've gone, you know, we do international trips. We do, sometimes we'll rent a cabin up in the in Mammoth and go snow skiing. We do all kinds of fun stuff. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, and I, I got involved because I, I don't, it's not about going to the bars, right? Healthy active people who like nature more than bars more than bars i'm lance we got lance so and which, which which hike is your favorite uh like temesco canyon trail oh over in uh palisades area okay near the santa monica beach okay i know that one that's by topanga state park right yeah exactly, exactly. okay what is your favorite book of all time uh, favorite book of all time it's probably harry potter number four okay <laughs> and how has that changed your life um, I mean, it taught me that women are probably a lot smarter than men, to be honest with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm a guy here. A badass, okay. just saying. <laughs> um, taught me a lot about teamwork. Okay. No, no person left behind. Right. And, Except uh, for Alex, didn't we leave him behind? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like never to give up, right? Okay. You can always find a way or make a way. That is so true. Just, can I tell you my favorite joke? No, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you my favorite joke. I don't know any. I joke. have one. Okay. I was addicted to soap. Yeah? I'm clean now. <laughs> See, it worked. That's very funny. Land drop. This is poison oak. You can see because they cluster in three leaves. Um, this time of year, the leaves are mostly green, like bright green. But as you get further in the season, these start turning red. You can see this one is a little tinge of red. All right. So what happens if I touch it? Just kidding. <laughs> nothing will happen. Nothing will happen right now. If I touch it. You won't. Okay. You won't get a rash for a few days. Okay. So um, if you have to go to the bathroom, do not yeah. use these leaves. Yeah. I mean, honestly, to me, this looks like every other leaf. So take a good look, y'all. Poison oak. All right, so we are with Craig. Craig. Like Craigslist? Like Craigslist. Craig is an avid hiker. He's been to many hikes in LA. So Craig, what's your favorite LA area hike? Bridge to Nowhere and Santa Paula Pueblos. And then they said out Okay, the Santa Paula Pueblos. What do you like about those hikes? Bridge to Nowhere has, you cross a lot of rivers, so it's really cool to see. And then there's this amazing, cool little abandoned bridge at the very end. And yeah. Santa Paula Punch Bowls has these maybe three or four different bowls that you can actually swim in. So it's a lot of fun. Okay. And have you ever um, found a date or met a guy in one of these hikes? <laughs> no, I have not. Okay. So if you ever see Craig on the trail, ask him for a date. Are you single? <laughs> I am. Okay. All right. He's single. <laughs> All right. So I'm with Joe. Joe lost a significant amount of weight. Tell us about it. Well, hiking was a big part of it. Uh, you don't get to be 300 pounds, uh, other, you know, unless you got a lot of stuff going on in your head. Yeah. So the hiking isn't only good for the exercise part, but it's good for the the, the head and the heart. You know? Yeah. Well, how many? How much? How much weight did you lose? I lost about 100 pounds. Wow. Uh, between January of 2020 and August of 2020 okay. was the primary eight months where I uh, where I lost it all. Okay, and how, how did the weight loss transformation get started? Well, I've been yo-yoing up and down all my life, but I finally just made the decision that I was going to be, you know, strict with myself and dedicate myself to my health and get on the right track. So. Yeah. Now, didn't you say it was a New Year's resolution? Well, I decided uh, I would start on New Year's Day, so yeah. Okay. Um, I planned ahead. I started watching a lot of YouTube videos first. Yeah. Um, figuring out what kind of diet I was going to do. Yeah. What kind of workout programs I were gonna was going to take advantage of. Yeah. I really was starting from zero fitness-wise. I couldn't do a single push-up. You know, a one or two mile hike was about all I could handle. Uh huh. And now look at you, it's a 10 mile difficult hike and you're racing in front of everyone. Yeah, I was at the front of the trail most of the way. <laughs> you're like, yeah, you guys are slowing me down. <laughs> so what tip do you have for someone who is maybe trying to start uh, a weight loss journey? You got to get the diet under control. Yeah. But the first and most important exercise that you can do is walking. Yeah. So it's, that's the best exercise is to go for a walk and then if you can get your walk to be a hike in a forest or in a park yeah. up some hills and down some hills uh it's just the very best thing you can do for yourself yeah not just for your legs and your body 
but for your head. Yeah. And, uh, if you are overweight, like I was, uh, and you don't take excellent care of your health and control your diet, you know, it's probably because there's something in your heart that needs to be addressed. Yeah. You know, exercise doesn't have to be awful, you know? Play a sport or go on a hike or rollerblade or do something fun. It doesn't have to be on a treadmill, right? And then, if you can get together with a group and make friends, even better. There you go. You're on the track for a better life. So, so by the way, Joe um, is sharing his weight loss transformation. I'll provide a link to his socials so you can check him out. Yeah, Joe Strider's Hybrid Power Yoga Ooh. on Facebook and uh, soon to be across the social media platforms. Awesome. All right, well, I will share that in the links below. Robert's going to tell us about a book he read that changed the way he lives. Okay, so the book that I read is called The Lorax. It's by Dr. Seuss. It's a very simple child's book, but it has a lot of lessons about conservationism and about the environment and respecting nature. And so because of that book, I do have much greater uh, appreciation and wonder at the planet around us and that we as humans, it's our responsibility to take care of it and be responsible for it. And I can make environmentally more conscientious choices, whether that's reducing single use plastics or not buying so many disposable things. So what do you do to reduce your footprint? I subscribe to a bunch of different uh, companies that use less disposable plastics like Bite Toothpaste or these like chalky toothpaste that don't oh. use a bunch of tubes. There's a uh, laundry detergent company where the laundry soap is just pressed into these sheets that dissolve in the, in the washing machine itself without using a bunch of big plastic jugs, jugs these yeah. kind of things that I try not to use plastic bags at the grocery store for my vegetables I'm gonna wash them all anyway so what I do is I don't take very many showers and <laughs> I don't use the you don't flush the toilet I don't flush the toilet or use toilet paper oh, so perfect. that's yeah. what I do <laughs> after we finished the hike we stopped at a local restaurant for lunch and then after that I went home and went to bed if you enjoyed this content please hit the like and I hope you subscribe next up click on one of my next videos on the left we'll see you next time